morning, Spray Berry. Welcome back. I'm Lauren. And I'm Zach. Today is January 17, 2019. At this time, please stand for the pledge, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's quote of the day is, all of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Walt Disney. Today's SAT word of the day is jocular, meaning humorous or joking. An example is, his jocular attitude made him a pleasure to work with. On this day in history, in 1966, a B-52 bomber collides with a KC-135 jet tanker over Spain's Mediterranean coast, dropping three 70-kiloton hydrogen bombs near the town of Palomares and one in the ocean. It was not the first or last accident involving American nuclear bombs. Interested in being a part of International Night? There will be a meeting today from 3.45 to 4.15 p.m. to sign up for a region team. Anyone planning on participating should attend this meeting in order to join. We hope to see more countries represented and more students participating. Starting Monday, January 28th, text notifications will be ending for Verizon Wireless customers who use the free Remind service. To get messages, you will need to turn on smartphone or email notifications instead. Now for a short commercial break. January 14th, Pajama Day. Tuesday, January 15th, Hippies vs. Hipsters. Wednesday, January 16th, Tacky Holiday Party. Thursday, January 17th, Throwback Thursday. Friday, January 18th, Whiteout. The Drama Department will have open auditions this Friday from 4 to 5.30 for Agatha Christie's and Then There Were None. Auditions will take place in the black box, room 415. Please see Mr. Middlebrooks for more information. Now let's see what Chelsea has for our weather. Good morning, Spurberry. Welcome back. It's Chelsea here with your daily weather update. Today we'll have PM rains with a high of 50 and a low of 43 winds at 4 miles per hour and a 60% chance rain. Hopefully you have your umbrellas and jackets. Thanks for listening. Now back to the studio. Hey, Spurberry. It's Shannon Wright, your host for Spurberry Sports. Last night, soccer and baseball completed their tryouts and will be posting teams soon, so be on the lookout for their rosters, and congratulations to everyone who made the teams. In wrestling's try meet with Kellen Walton last night, our Jackets lost the overall match, but Zach Field and Andy Wynn showed strong by winning their mass matches with pins. In other news, girls basketball took a win over River Ridge Tuesday night with a score of 43 to 41, and the boys team also defeated River Ridge with a score of 72 to 54. Great job to both of our basketball teams. Now get ready to watch them devastate Dalton tomorrow night at home for the Winterfest game. Girls start at 6 and the boys are at 7.30. And remember, it's a whiteout. Also on Friday, our swim team will be competing at the Campbell Invitational at the Cobb Aquatic Center. So wish our swimmers some good luck and come out to support them. That's all for today, Sprayberry. Now back to Lauren and Zach. Skills USA will be having our meetings for this semester every Wednesday in room 711 at 345. We'll also be collecting recycling, so teachers, please make sure to leave the cans outside the doors. Spots to be a part of the Black History production are filling up fast. If interested, please attend the meetings after school. Next, we will have Cassandra with the STP. <laughs> What's up, Sprayberry? I'm Cassandra, and we're back with this semester student teacher profile nomination. Kicking off the semester's first teacher of the week is Coach Avery. This is her first year as a math teacher and the girls' varsity basketball coach. Her favorite quote is, suck it up, buttercup. And her favorite food is any kind of pizza. Coach Avery was born in Atlanta, Georgia, but if she could live anywhere, it would be by a beautiful lake in the mountains. Her idol is her mother, who was a great role model as a wife, mother, and a very strong lady. And something people may not know about Coach Avery is that she had been married for 27 years and has three kids. Next up, this week's featured student is senior Darren Patrick, but his friends and family call him DJ. He's a part of the varsity's boys basketball team, and in five years, he's himself playing in the NBA because of how much he loves basketball. He describes himself as a determined leader. His favorite show is Attack on Titan, and his favorite movie is Lion King. DJ was born in San Antonio, Texas, but he would love to live in Puerto Rico. His idol is Jesus Christ, and his favorite thing about Spraybury is the cookie. That's all for this week's student teacher profile. If you know of a teacher or student who deserves to be spotlighted on student teacher profile, please email spraybrainews at gmail.com. Teachers, please remember this semester the storm records the day before it airs. And please send all announcements to spraybrainews at gmail.com. Thank you, everybody, for watching and enjoying our show. 
and remember, remember jackets, jackets. Together, together we swore. Together we swore.